Let us discuss today the mock heroic poetry. Uh, we have already discussed this in our classes when we were doing the rape of the lock as a mock heroic poem. But because of the lockdown, you must have uh, lost touch with it. So let us refresh. The question is, what a mock heroic poetry is. Now the mock heroic poetry also known as mock heroic, uh, mock epic is a characteristic genre of English neoclassicism. It is, it is a, uh, it is derived from French models and became something more than merely a parody of serious epic relieved of its gravity. Now when we talk about relieved of its gravity means that epic is a serious genre of literature. Homer, Virgil, Milton, they all have written epics. But when we say mock epic, mock epic is just making, using the epic uh, features for mocking something or some one or some situation. Mock heroic poetry combines the characteristics of various discourses, comedy, parody, satire, and occasional poetry. Then again, it's a poetry that draws heavily on the technique of satire, means it uses irony, exaggeration, and sarcasm to mock its original subject. Now, yes, irony is one of the most important part of mock epic. Just imagine the word, just imagine the title of the poem, The Rape of the Law. Doesn't it sound funny? This rape, it has no sexual connotation. It is just a kind of uh, rape in 18th century actually meant to take anything forcefully from another person. And so Pope had used the word rape for cutting of a lock. And because it draws on well-known heroes or literary themes, mock heroic poetry is often able to form observations about contemporary culture, religion, social issues in a funny, meaningful style. Rape of the Lock is one of the classic examples of mock heroic poem or mock epic poem. It is, it is an occasional poem. Now when I say occasional means it, it, the subject is actually it is taken from an occasion. Pope was asked to uh, diffuse the tension between two families when they fought with each other over the cutting of a lock. Pope used this theme for his masterpiece, The Ray of the Law. 